Hey, uh, well, right. I don't know what's no, that, man. Right yeah. 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 He knows. Hold the nuts in your fire. I know that feeling. Yeah. 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 Hey, it's Old Man Coffee. I want to welcome you back to my vlog. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Also, I want to put out a special thanks to all the new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. It really helps the channel a lot. Uh, who, who, who invented the term OMC? It stands for Old Man Coffee. Some people say that it was Lyman. I don't know the answer. That's Old Man Coffee. Basically, one of these guys who comes in, reads the paper, has coffee, doesn't really play too many hands. One of those kind of guys. It's a new breed of old man coffee. Old man coffee, Chris. In general, these players are usually older. Against these players, you should be overly cautious when they call your pre-flop raises, flop bets, and turn bets. So today is Thursday, February 13th. And yep, it's another Trooper Thursday. Okay, that's enough talk. Let's get inside and get that morning game started. And then we'll get the 1-3 game started with the Trooper at 2 p.m. Shout out to anybody? Uh, shout out. Um, just to say hi to my kids and uh, my girlfriend Stephanie. And what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Ian and uh, I live in Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Ian. Well, I'm glad, uh, glad you got to be here today. Please. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. I wish yeah. we got to do a couple hands together. Yeah, really. <laughs> you got to exit a little early. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, I'm going to On February 29th, the Westgate's going to host a $2,900 guaranteed no limit tournament. The entry fee is only going to be $29 and you can find all the information on this tournament at Poker Atlas and there will be a link in the description below. No, it was a Eleven. Oh, those damn the thin mints. Yeah, was it? Right. Or was it? Um, not thin mints. Was? Weren't you sitting right there? It was. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I was trying to prove that I'm not a germaphobe. 
Because I'm not. Now it's still early in the evening when I wake up with pocket kings on the button. It folds to middle position who limps. Low jack bets $12 and the high jack calls the 12. I'm supposed to be raising here, but I'm just gonna call. I don't know what the blinds are gonna do. Now both the blinds fold and middle position also calls the $12. So we're four ways to the flop. I'm not crazy about this flop. I don't have any clubs. And there are some possible straight draws on this flop. Middle position checks. And low jack bets $45. The high jack folds. I'm just going to call a 45 and then make a decision on the turn card. I still don't know what the middle position is going to do in this hand. So I call a 45 and middle position also makes the call. So now we're three ways to the turn card. That comes another club. I'm not crazy about this, but I do have position. Let's see what the players do. They both check. I'm just going to check it back. I know I'm supposed to be betting there, but I'm going to check it. Middle position bets 25. And now the low jack folds. Well, for $25 into a $200 pot, I've just got to make this call and see what happens. What is it? Well, that's why I didn't record. Now we know that much, at least. Make the call. I had been pretty card dead for the last two hours and then I got this hand. I was in the big blind and Trooper opened for ten dollars. It folded around to the low jack who made the call and the high jack called. Button folded, small blind folded, I made the call. So there's four players to the flop and there was $41 in the pot. So we'll pick up the action after the flop. This is a draw heavy board for my top two pair. I decided to bet 100 to put some pressure on the draws. One yard. was a freighter. One yard. Well, the low jack announces a call, and the high jack announces all in for $179. I have $142 behind. I can pick a lot of hands based on what you just said, but yeah, well, you said both of these players have been pretty loose throughout the night and the hijack had already been stacked for five hundred dollars and had rebought. I put them both on draws. That's what I didn't think. Yeah, the way you said that, I'm like, you won't believe I'm like, I don't know what. So I think there's only one decision for me here and that is to shove all in with my remaining $142. 
Okay, bring your second. Seven, six, on the turn. Lucked it off. Six now. Give me little red ones. And the low jack announces a call. So we're off to the turn and the river. Two all ins and a side pot. Oh my gosh, that's better. Jeez, you got spades too. I'm fucked. Hey, uh, alright. I don't know what that meant. He's holding the knots in your fly. I know that feeling. I don't know what that meant. Okay, you play this hand right here. That's a six coming. Come on. No, I didn't have six. Yes! Yes! Wow! Son of a fish. Wow. I forwarded two spades. Bring those cards over here, sir. And the spades will come. And nobody had a set for the prepared board. He was uh, sarcastically cheering. What else am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, you can't do it. top two. Yeah. I put him on Queen wow. Town. Yeah, yeah. I put him on All right, guys. I could have pulled. Well, you, it's like 104 more, right? It's about a lot of more. But it made for 100. So. It made for 100. So. Plus the raise and the clock and all that, right? Yeah. You're getting probably like 4 to 1 on the call. So I know. There's no yeah. holes there. What do you think? But if he doesn't bet, well, what I do I'm with Brad Owen did. Okay, well that's going to wrap up another Thursday night at the Westgate. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of uh, bummed out. Uh, you saw that last hand. Uh, I guess there was nothing else I could do. I don't know. You know I thought that possibly that guy that was on the button uh, may have flopped that straight. But I had some outs. I don't know what she was even doing in the hand. But uh, that's the way it goes. That's uh, that's poker for you. So anyway, I was in the game for $200. And before that hand, I was up about uh, $50. Had about $250 in front of me. And, uh, of course, ended up losing it all in that hand. I considered rebuying into the game. But, I'll tell you the truth. I was a little tilted. So I decided the best thing for me to do was to leave. A little while after that, uh, the pizza came. I had some pizza. And uh, I left. So it's only 6 o'clock right now. So, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell your friends about it and leave a comment down below. This is my year to date total right here. So, this is Old Man Coffee saying, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, Please subscribe. Just click on my photo there and subscribe. It's free. Also, click on the little white dot up there in the upper right hand corner to visit my store. Always free shipping in the US for orders in my store.